So this is the project that hopped in front of the welder project. It's not them new Topo Chico hard seltzers, of course, but it is my turn this dang speaker down geez. okay it is my my father's little little camper trailer here and he's having some issues I don't know if you can see that there but that sucker's all the axles all cracking out we went out to get them tires rotated and uh, as you can see, they had some weird wear on there. Try to figure out the dang gimbal. Jeez. But um, they were slightly starting to wear. And uh, we took a look at it. And I said, you know what? That sucker's going to need some repairs. So we need to beef that sucker up, Paul. But I told him. I told him just like that, heck. So the other side ain't. I didn't even pay attention, but we seen this, and I was like, well, heck, we're going to have to get her into the shop. Oh, yeah, and that's the other, the other, uh, new, uh, this is the good news. We, we got us a shop. The girls aren't here right now. They'll probably be joining me here in a bit, but, uh. Trying to get everything moved in, but this turned into a hot job. I'm trying to get this done for my dad, you know. Yeah, let's see this one. This one did not look, you know, I haven't torn nothing down yet, but this looked to be in decent shape. Yeah, we'll take a look at her, but. We're trying to get set up here. We got us a mess. But uh, she's a work in progress, so I'm gonna try and get this old tripod set up. So you can take a gander, you know, we can. Get some footy. this dang thing. They made it look real easy on the videos. Mm. I'm getting there. We gonna... We got to support it there. Okay. Yeah, once we get this thing done and out of here, man, I'm gonna get... I'm gonna get the welder in here, okay, of course. Because you guys were... Y'all seen what we had going on, me and Peanut? That was a little Peanut. And, uh... Let's see what we had going on. Dang it, I didn't bring the charger for the light. Oh, that's damn good. I bet that'd be a, a whole lot better cold, okay? I don't mind it. Okay. So I'm going to pop that cap off, but I'd really like to. Yeah. Yeah. I'd really like to unbolt a whole assembly. Assembly? Actually, I probably ought to just mark them splines here. Call it good. If I can find my dang sockets, like I said, I'm getting moved in. And, uh,. Gonna be a whole unorganized heap here, but we're gonna give it our best. I'll tell you what. Yeah. Let's get this footy. where we're at. So 
what she looking like. I'm gonna just grind all the, uh, it's hard to say, grind all that. show you what we got so far. Okay. Okay, so this is where we're at right now. Because I'm going to clean these up. That stuff is thick. That Whatever that is, that bed, that undercoating. So, they're split here. As you can see. Come on. Clear up. You gonna clear up? Nope. Okay, what's well, that? So I'm gonna get this back in. Damn. Dang. I'm gonna get this back in place. Let's see, maybe I gotta zoom out. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna get that in place. I'm gonna clean them inside. I'm gonna stick the cutting wheel in there. Same with this. Bevel that out a bit. So get this back squared up. And then I'm gonna box this thing in. The only material I could find, I either had some flat strap, which was dang half inch thick by like six. I had these laying in the garage. They about three sixteenths or quarter. Yeah, they about three sixteenths. So I'm gonna cut some little pads. I'm gonna pull some measurements. I'm gonna leave a little weld edge. Mm. Little edge there while I'm at it so I th by the looks of it they just have this dang washer in there once I get it all squared up I'll clean up inside there it looks like they just have some dang 6010 boogers or some wire feed with, with porosity and I try to grind that stuff out but there's only Two little strips with some boogers hanging, uh, keeping that dang square washer in. So, yeah, I'm gonna get get it back in position. I'll probably get this welded out, and then I'll cut those pieces. So, yeah, let me try and get that cut off wood in there. And I'm gonna put this a little ways away so we can. Uh, I don't pepper my my stuff here, you know. Let's see. Okay. You probably tack it close to the edge of the outside. Let's call it good. It pulled together pretty good. about where we're at now we got her all tacked up okay all boxed in okay on the bottom two I ended up with I couldn't cap it like I wanted to so I had to cut little one by strips so I'm gonna weld them out probably stitch weld it I'm not gonna weld it entirely uh, the ends and then a couple little half inch, one inch welds, three quarter inch welds. Um, that's where I'm at right now. So I won't bore you guys with the details. I'll weld this out and take a look at this. Clean them bearings up, get some solvent, repack them. Get the side mounted up. 
The other side's not cracked, but I'm gonna do the exact same thing. So. still haven't gotten this thing gimbal here nope a little bit up here there we go all right feel like I've gotten to a good little stopping point I think I've gotten a good stopping point where I want to show you I've been trying I had something else work better I had a bunch of stainless stick electrode laying around and I uh, decided I'd try that because um, taking it it was giving me fits giving me fits just that grease on the inside of it you know I was having to sit there and apply heat for too long because I'm running on that 110 you know what I mean not that anybody cares but um, yeah I was just gonna say I was gonna show you what I've got set up now and uh, we'll go from there all right I'm gonna show you what I ended up with down here on this side uh oh this was going crazy what's going on okay that's working let's see no left and right okay there we go she caught up okay I got it in primer now but like I said, I ended up running stick electrode on there. And I just stitch welded. Top and bottoms are fully welded. And I welded the, uh, put some, I put tacks on top and bottom. And then I went over the welds on the side to keep that square washer in. But yeah, it worked out a whole lot better. Yeah, that wasn't quite dry. But, uh, okay, so we're going to, I got this old side here about cleaned up. Okay, just cleaned up all the welds. I, uh, want to wrap this spline. Had to knock a couple dangle bears off that other one, so I'll set this up and try and get some stick electrode for you guys. This one was kind of swollen as well, so I kind of had to finagle it back into shape. Give it a couple whoppings. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go over all the welds. I'm gonna burn it in, then I'm gonna knock them down, and then I'll put those same. Whoa, what's this thing doing? Okay. And then I'll put the same pieces. I'm cutting those from the dang piece of rectangular tubing I got here. Wasn't, wasn't wide enough, so I was wanting to run the cap around the whole thing. Instead, I'm just cutting these strips out. Cut the section, then I'll just cut the tabs off. Little one by pieces. Get four of them and box it in. So I'm going to do that on this side, get it in some primer, and we'll go from there. I sat there and realized, I was like, get some footy, you know, just make some cuts, record it. I don't know. Everybody else does, isn't it? Oh. Alright.
This is where we're at. Let's see where we're we at here. All right. I'll do the flats and we'll call her good, you know. Put some primer on it. We'll call it a night. Do them bearings tomorrow, you know, and uh, give you an update when I get finished here. This is where I'm at now. I got it covered in some of that bed coating. Oops, I'm kind of gotta clean that off. Still got my mark there, but. Clean them old guys up. This side. It's a little cold when I'm spraying. Let's try to spray it on heavy. <laughs> Those guys were barely hanging on when I pulled it apart. All right, well, it's complete. I know nobody cares, but it's together. She's packed with new grease. She's all old up. Oh, get them wheels on. And uh, take it for a test bin, go set it up, you know. And check the wheel play, make sure there's no play when I get the wheels on, get it up in the air. But, uh, she's all tuckered out, that's for sure. I gotta clean up my mess. Jeez, maybe I'll be able to finally get organized. Alright, just wanted to show that. <laughs>